Hello, uh, my name is Marcelo Morales, and I'm applying for the Big Camp. Um, this is my application. So the first question I'm going to answer is, what are my strengths and weaknesses? So I believe my strengths are that I'm pretty like empathetic. I think I'm when somebody tells me a problem, I'm definitely able to like resonate with them and put myself in their shoes, try to understand like what they're going through. And I think I'm a really good listener and I just have a lot of empathy that I'm able to share with other people just to um, understand their problems and if I'm able to do anything, help them through it. And I think one of my weaknesses are that um, whenever I'm working on projects, I'm sometimes it's really easy for me to um, not see like not see the bigger picture. I think that um, sometimes during when I'm working on group projects, I kind of just like focus on my thing and try to do like my thing really well. And sometimes I forget to look at the bigger picture and see how those like the specific tasks that I'm working at um, impacts like the overall project. And that is something I'm definitely trying to work on and just um, just have like a better like perspective on like group projects and see how does like the overall project affect like a company or like what how does like my own task affect the project as a whole. And the second question I'm gonna answer is, um, so what does making technical education accessible to all mean to me? So I think um, making technical education to all is very important to me. Um, as a first generation student and as a person born in Peru, I think um, like quality education should be accessible to everybody, like no matter your socioeconomic background or where you're from or um, where you're born, like no quality should dictate um, if you get a good education or not. And I'm really passionate about this. And um, like throughout like my years in college or in high school, um, I have been trying to get more involved in the education field. So, and I do believe like, um, like the tech industry should be more diverse. There should be more people of color there since I think through um, like diversity, we're able to bring new perspectives to projects like new opinions and new like um like new perspectives that like other people may not think about and i think that's how um the best products are published to the market so the third question i'm going to answer is um how do you make an impact in a team setting i think the best thing is just to um be like vocal and um talk about like what you're going through like what you're going to work on that day um like I, I was able to intern this past summer at a nonprofit and I was able to like design their website. And then what I realized like the best thing that kept me on track was having like stand up where um I was able to talk um like each morning about like what I was going to do to my mentor. And I believe that really kept me on track and um really helped me stay focused um throughout the summer. So I think just um being vocal and um, if you have a problem, definitely like speak up about it before it snowballs and it gets to a bigger problem. So I think like the main thing in a team setting is just um, collaborating, being vocal, um, talk, and just like start networking and like connecting with your peers and your coworkers. So the fourth question I'm gonna answer is, um, I'm gonna describe a time where I overcame an adversity in education. Like the first thing that really um, pops out of me that I remember is that I remember during um, freshman orientation in college um, that uh, we had like department meetings where like each student was able to um, like talk to their department that like corresponds with their major. And um, I, applied as, I applied as an applied math and statistics major. And I noticed that when I went to like my department meeting to meet like all the professors and all the um, incoming freshmen who were also gonna be applied math students that I was the only um, Hispanic student there. Like the rest of the students were um, Asian and um, white. And um, it did feel like pretty isolating and um, I did feel pretty alone. Um, and especially since like my first semester, like I took like like discrete math and I took um, my intro to probability class, like all these applied math classes. Um, I wasn't like the only one, only Hispanic student there in those classes, but um, there was a pretty small group so I think like the adversity I had to overcome is that um, although like feeling pretty isolated, I hope that um, I'm able to open the door to like other future Hispanic students and show them that like, hey, um, even though it may feel pretty alone at times, it is possible. And like as many 
um, many upperclassmen and many um, older individuals have shown me that even though um, they're people of color and um, they're, there's not a big population of them in the tech industry, they were able to succeed and make it and achieve their goals. I want to pass that baton to um, younger students and tell them that, hey, it is possible to um, they, um, succeed in like applied math or the tech industry, whatever you want to do, no matter of your race, color, or socioeconomic status. And then the last question I wanna, I'm gonna answer is what I want to gain from this experience. I definitely just want to um, just get more involved in um, software engineering and like building a product from the ground up. I think it's really cool from like day one, like brainstorming or like um, what project you wanna build, 